just different movies and stuff like that. But if you want to go and get live TV, which would be, they do have the locals now, but they do not have NBC. I don't think they have NBC. If I remember right, you're up to $39 there. You do not get as much with, with Hulu um, and their $39 as you would get with YouTube TV um, with the $37 or $38. The only difference would, and I didn't put it up here, the only difference is the, the choice of channels is different. You might get some things on Hulu that you wouldn't get on YouTube TV, possible. Um, uh, Spectrum has a streaming service now. My opinion is stay away from it. That's just my personal opinion. You know, uh, uh, if, you, if you're a Spectrum person, uh, you can do it. You do get your locals uh, with it. It is 1995, uh, but they will do the same thing with the, with the uh, streaming service that they do with their cable package. You never know what you're gonna get when the bill comes in the mail. So you just gotta, that's why with these other ones, I never have to worry. I know exactly what my bill's gonna be. It never changes, ever. This is the other option that I wanted to kind of share with you. It's called Sling, and it's just a, it's, again, it's an app that you could get on Roku or you can get on your phone or anything like that. If you're doing YouTube TV and maybe you're not getting all the channels you want, maybe you're into um, uh, HGTV, DIY, all those kind of things, you know, those different kind of things, you could supplement your YouTube TV with um, a sling for like $20 and you could get those channels. So you'd have two different services and you have to kind of bounce back. The complaint I get about that, people say, oh man, but I have to go from this app to watch this, from this app to watch that, and back and forth, and I get confused. Honestly, after you do it for a month or so, you're, 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 you're used to it. It's, it's not that big a deal. Uh, the only problem with doing Sling and adding to it is like uh, CNN, uh, some of these Fox, some of these different FX. Uh, you're going to get some repeat channels on both. Uh, Sling does not have a DVR either. YouTube TV is the only one that will allow you to DVR to record things. So that's kind of an important thing if you like to record. Uh, then Amazon Prime, which is basically just kind of a lot of movies and different things like that. They do have some original programming on there that's pretty good. They have they have some different things that are good. And if you like, um, uh, oh gosh, I'm trying to think. Greg, help me. If you like Batman, <laughs> <laughs> if you like Batman, I think they do have Batman on there. That was great. That's on film too. That's that's great. <laughs> um, oh, what's the House of Cards? Yeah. No, is that Netflix? Or is yeah. it on Amazon? Netflix. Is it Netflix? Yeah. Netflix. Okay. I know there's some different ones like that, but they do have some uh, some good ones. I've watched this. Uh, I've watched this Mozart in the Jungle. That's pretty good. Um, and here again, same thing. They'll throw you 13 episodes at one time and you wonder what you're doing with your life uh, very, very quickly. DirecTV has a streaming service too, but here again, there's their streaming service. I know it's kind of hard to see. Their streaming service prices are no different than their cable TV price. They're, they're the same. You know, it goes from 30 to 50 to 60 to $70. So there's no, uh, no change there. So you can also do what's called dedicated apps. Uh, so, say that you go with YouTube TV and HGTV and DIY are really, really important to you. You can get the app on your device, whether it be your phone or I think you can even down, I, I think we have HGTV and DIY, the apps on our Roku. Uh, and then you can use those apps to go in and watch programming. The downside is this, okay? Uh, like for DIY, well, no, I'll do HGTV. Um, say you watch Fixer Upper. That's one of your shows. Never watched it in my life, but it sounds fun. Um, maybe that's your show. What will happen is it will always be a week behind. <coughs> Does that make sense? It will always be a week behind. But, you know, for free, why would, that's not, that's, I can live a week behind. I'd like to live a week behind in general, if that were the case. But, you know, so you can do it with dedicated apps um, as well. That's an easy way. And Adam it. also knows who's all, they have commercials, but there are a lot less commercials. A lot less commercials, yeah. Yeah, like the commercial break might be one or two commercials, and that's it. That's it, yeah. And some of those you can't fast forward to through. Some you can't, some you can't. But it does give you enough time to do whatever. I don't know if anybody's in the Hallmark Channel or Life.
Lifetime, likes their Lifetime movies, uh, History Channel, um, YouTube TV. YouTube TV now has History Channel. That was one of the ones that they just added, which is kind of nice. I like to watch that a little bit. So that's that's all there um, as well. Um, on average, um, the cost of uh, just one streaming service is about $40. 40 to $50. Mine, like I said, was $51, and that's because I do uh, YouTube TV and I do Netflix, but I have to do the $12 Netflix because of the number of TVs that we have. So I come in about, come in about $51 when it's all said and done. Uh, and I get plenty. I have no problems finding things um, to watch. Does anybody have something that like they just can't live without? Does anybody have a TV show? Well, how do you, we mentioned UK basketball or any, any sports, especially college basketball, how do you know for them if it's going to be on their conference channel or, or you know, ESPN 1, 2, like with CBS, you know, whatever. I mean, not you, may, you can find out where it's going to be, but I mean, can you get all that in one package? YouTube TV. That's okay. Like if you're a Kentucky fan, YouTube TV has ESPN, ESPN 2, SEC. Um, like today they're on CBS. Yes, and, it has a, and now um, Roku now has um, a CBS Sports uh, that just came out. There's an app for it. Um, and sometimes they might be on there. I, I don't ever miss a UK game. They're all there. If you just look, I just look at the schedule. Mm -hmm. You know, it pretty much tells you which one, which one they're going to be on. Um, so yeah, that's. Um, and I should. I did. There is one other. Um, there is one other service that I do get. I guess I should have included it in here, but I, I didn't. Uh, but I split it. Uh, we split it three ways, um, between me and my brother and. Uh, no, just two ways, me and my brother. Uh, we get the Major League Baseball package um, so we can watch Red Sox games, as that might. Uh, and it's a little, it's a little, but it's a one year kind of thing. And he and I just split it and we share the password. And Greg and I did that with, Greg and I did that with CBS uh, online. We, we split the package and uh, just shared the password. And Netflix, honestly, Netflix, I think you can have um, five different accounts, I think. So, you know. You can share it with everybody in the family. I mean, you know, however you, however you want to do it. Uh, but Netflix is kind of nice because when you first start it up, you can have profiles. So everybody in the house can have their own profile, you know, under one account. So it's kind of, kind of nice to have that. So yeah, about 40 to $50 um, is where, where I came in. Okay, so how it all works. Now I was gonna do a demonstration, but I, but I actually cannot do the demonstration because the equipment was in the other uh, building. But what, um, Basically, the way it works is this, okay? When I, when I connect my, um, when I connect, well, I'm going to do Roku because Roku is kind of the simplest one to do. So say I go and I buy the Roku. Um, it's very, very simple. Take the Roku out of the box. You'll have it. Do you have a stick? Is yours a stick? Right? Yeah, ours is the You have the box. The box. Okay. Uh, you get one or two. You have a stick. That stick will just go in the HDMI port of your TV. Okay, then on your inputs on your TV, you'll switch it over to HDMI 1, HDMI 2, whatever it is. The Roku screen will come up and you'll start seeing all the different apps uh, that are there. Um, on the left hand side, uh, as you go down, I'm trying to remember this in my brain, one of the choices is streaming channels. Okay, if you click on streaming channels, it'll take you to another screen and in that are all the apps that you can choose. So the first thing, say you're going to go with YouTube TV, you want to choose YouTube TV. And that'll install the app and it'll be right there for you. Then you just click on the YouTube TV app and off, you're gone. I wish I could, I don't know, maybe I yeah, You might want to mention that you got to give them permission to get onto your Wi Fi. Yeah, got to give them permission. Get onto the Wi Fi. Let me see if I can pull YouTube TV up here and show but, you. But uh, it literally took uh, probably a minute. Yeah. After we got the, the password in and all that on the on the Roku to, for it to load the channels, and we were watching TV in an extremely short time. Yeah, it, it takes absolutely no time uh, to do it, and it really is. I mean, anybody can do it. I mean, it's very, very, very simple. Do you have any trouble remembering all the passwords? Once you put them in one time, you never have to put them in again. It's a it's a it's a one time one time thing. So once you put your password in, you're done. What have I done? But it'd be a good idea to have a little book. Yeah, have a little, little book. book right right two I years, do. three years down the road, and what would happen? And it'll cough on you. Yeah. Let me 
see if I can show you a YouTube TV. It wasn't perfect to me for about three years. So. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, it's time to let me show you the YouTube TV. Sorry about that. <laughs> All good things work sometimes when you want them to. Um, so, ask me. Okay, I know this is real quick and over through. Let me tell you this too before we go any further. If you really, really, really are interested in this and it's really something you feel like you want to do but you're just a little uh, leery about it or not sure, you know, or you have just a lot of questions that you don't feel like we can answer right here. Um, I'm here Tuesday and Thursday nights, and if you just call down the library and make an appointment, uh, I'll spend an hour with you from 5:30 to 6:30, just one-on-one, -on -one, you and I, and we can, you know, we can make it all happen. You know, we can uh, show you, get you all signed up, all that different kind of things if you if you want to if you want to do that. Uh, but Tuesdays or Thursday nights, just make sure you call uh, and make make an appointment. Not that I'm like in great demand or anything like that. <laughs> what time? 5:30 to 6:30 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yep. So, questions? Okay. Basic system, would that be the Time Warner, Internet, the Roku, and like YouTube? Yeah. That would start you out. That would start you out. Yep. You would need your, your Internet connection, go buy your Roku, uh, sign up with YouTube TV, and you're all and running. In the meantime, we've got a smart TV. Can we check the channels out? Check the, the channels device? out. Which, what brand do you have, do you know? Don't know. Might be Samsung. Samsung, yeah. Um, on your Samsung, I believe, if you just look on your remote and hit the menu, I think there's something in the menu. It's called Samsung Store, and that'll show you the apps that you can. There's a whole row. Whole row at the, the bottom. Yes. Yeah. The bottom. So yeah, they, they might they might be there. Um, but yeah, that's really all you need: the internet connection, a Roku, and a subscription to one of the streaming services, and, and you're and you're ready to go. The nice thing about them, like I said, is these streaming services, you got the 30 days to try it. If you absolutely hate it, nothing lost. Now, YouTube TV, um, you can share that with five people. So like I have my YouTube TV um, and and so I, it's, they're separated accounts, meaning that when I use my YouTube TV on my TV, it's different than it is on Julie's TV. So everything that I record is under my account. Everything she records is under her account, but it's still all one account. Does that make sense? It's like one account, there's five sub-accounts underneath that. And so it's all... In the household, or can it be like... A they can be anywhere. They can be somebody on the other side of the world. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Yeah, you just add them to your account, and you can have those five different people. I like the, I like the YouTube TV just like sitting in a doctor's office waiting. For, you know, I'm watching something that, you know, on TV, stick a headphone in, you know, makes those long hours uh, go a lot better. What was the, what was it, uh, what's that, about 30, 35 a month? The YouTube TV, $37. 37 never fluctuates. Yeah, never fluctuates. If you plug on your smartphone, do you have to have the, the internet connection there? Yeah. To go ahead and do it? Yep. So, is the basic service good enough for streaming on one phone? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you'd be fine. Yeah, that basic service. What they have done um, with these services is they have um, majorly compressed <coughs> what they're sending. So it's you know it's a very compressed signal until it gets to your TV. Then it's you know then it changes. So that the bandwidth that you need is has changed considerably. It used to be that streaming with that simple lowest thing, the lowest service that like Spectrum had, you could do one TV and that was it. You know, if you tried to, it wouldn't work. And now it's just, it's a different ball game uh, now. Other questions? Dean, did you have one? Yeah, well, you answered one of them. I was okay. going to ask, because right now we do that with Netflix. My uh -huh. son up in college uses it. Yeah. So he can do that same thing with, with YouTube. YouTube TV. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Would he get, when I mean, you pick the local channels, so he could actually watch local news or something too? He would be, that, that is a catch. It would be local channels to where he is. Yeah, okay. To where he is. So yeah. You don't select him; it just knows. Well, when you first, when he would first go in and sign up, it's going to ask him for his zip code. Okay. Now, I don't know if he could put four five one six seven in. I don't know. I don't know if it would work or not. Okay. Um, 
because I've never tried it okay. that tried it that way. But that wouldn't matter that much. It just sometimes when there's something on, it'd be nice to you know, okay, turn it on. Oh yeah, turn watch. It. Well, yeah, but if it's like if it's like major networks, it would still kind of all be the okay. same unless there's a time zone change or something like that. Probably the only thing difference would be like local news, okay, stuff like that uh -huh. would would be different, but the rest of it would be kind of the same. Other questions anyone has? The last session we did this, like I said, we had about 50 people. Um, and I know for a fact, I know four who have done it. One I know that did it at midnight last night. That the message that the cable was cut and, it, and it's gone and they no longer and not looking back and seem to be pretty happy with it. Another thing you can do too, keep your, keep your cable and try this alongside of it for a month and see if you, if you like it. You know, that, that way you haven't gone through all the trouble of canceling and then you do this and you absolutely hate it, then you have to go back. Because if you go back after canceling, they're not so nice with you. They, they won't give you that new customer sign up, you know, that, that, they, that, they, like to, that they like to do. Um, another thing that I didn't touch on too, uh, premium channels. HBO, Showtime, Stars, all those kind of things. Um, with YouTube TV, you can add on Showtime. That's the only one that they offer. Um, with Amazon Prime, you can add on HBO, Stars. There's a couple. CBS. Of, yeah, there's, there's a bunch that you can add on. Um, but I'll tell you, there's a, there's a way around all that too that you can't do with cable. Um, for instance, HBO. Nathan and I, we like to watch Game of Thrones. Okay, so we, we watch Game of Thrones. What I'll do is I'll sign up for HBO for the time period that Game of Thrones is on. Then when it's off, I cancel. Then turn around next year. Then that way I'm not paying for it for a whole year. I'll just watch it during, pay for it during the time. You can never do that with cable. You know, you can never just selectively say, I want to watch it for this period of time. Or whatever. Then there's then there's other people I know. This is probably not ethical by any stretch of the imagination, but I know people who do it who will create four different email addresses and do 30 day trials for for four months and get it for three for four months and never pay a penny for it. But you know, I guess that's another. There's always a way around everything if you want to try it. But I, you know, that's that's the way some people, uh, some people actually do it. And the hack the uh, fire sticks too. Really yeah. Yeah, fire sticks, there's a big, uh, you can get those modified where you can get all kinds of stuff free. I don't know if you remember DirecTV back in the day when you could get the, you could get your card unlocked and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and all that. You never did that, did you, Mike? No, but I know somebody that did. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I know a lot of people that used to do that, you know. And suddenly they had 500 channels that they couldn't watch, you know, at, at, at any time. The big thing is, you know, if you're, if, if you really want to save the money and you're willing to make your sacrifices, it's the best thing in the world to do. I mean, I never, I, yeah, I'm a little more, I'm, I'm a little more technology based because that's what I do. But I mean, I never looked back. It was, it was easy. And once, once I made the decision, I was, I was gone, you know, and it's just, you know, that extra money is nice, you know, whenever, however you can get it, it's always, uh, always kind of nice. Any other questions? Yes. Um, you said that the DVR function is that on Roku or is that on the service, the streaming service? The the DVR serve the DVR function is built into YouTube TV, so okay, it's with YouTube it's with TV. that with okay. that particular you know with that particular service, and you can record to your heart's content. I mean, you know, whatever. And it's nice. What's nice is that let's just say, for instance, um, you just have a you have an inkling to watch The Godfather. Okay, just go in the top of YouTube TV and search Godfather. Okay, and it'll it'll search through all the TV listings, everything, to find the Godfather. Kind of what you do on your cable when you're searching for a show. And it may not be on exactly, you know, when you want to watch it, but you just click one button when it's on, it'll record it, and it'll show right up. You don't have to. I mean, you can just go. Like if there's a bunch of different movies you like to watch all the time, you know, that you just like to watch over and over, just go in, search them all, set up the record, and they'll be. They're, they're right there, ready for you to go. And some of them, I have noticed on YouTube TV, some of them, it doesn't advertise this, but I've noticed this, and I don't know how it works, but some of them almost seem to be on demand. Like, um, my stepson wanted to watch The Avengers, and so I went in and typed Avengers, and, and there it was. 
I mean, it was just ready to ready to play. So, you know, that was a that was another thing. Any other questions? Well, that would work with the cloud. Yeah, with the cloud, it would make a lot. Yeah, that's the nice thing. You know, to be able to just record and not worry about it. All right, I got a question. Okay. Because I've been avoiding the cloud. <laughs> you can't avoid the cloud. <laughs> you can't avoid it. I feel like it might rain on you. But You're very well good. Okay. But uh, does it matter what cloud? It's all built into YouTube. It's all built. It's all built into them. Okay, I got Mac, and they want me to go iCloud. Yeah, this is a totally, totally different thing. It's just yeah, it's all built into YouTube. YouTube. It's actually, actually, it'd be if you want to get technical, it's putting it in Google's cloud because Google owns YouTube TV. But you know, it's all yeah, whole separate thing. Just all built in. Actually, you never even have to worry about it. It's all all included. If anybody, like I said, if anybody wants to uh, come in and see me, you know, I'll walk you through this and get you get you set up. If you're kind of curious about how to get a YouTube TV account or any of the others, um, you know, I'd be more than happy to more than happy to do that. If you want to watch everything again, that's a web address you can go to um, that has the whole thing. It is case sensitive, so you know, make sure you make sure your H is a capital H on that one. Um, as well, and you can look through all this again, and it'll have everything, uh, everything on there for you to to watch, watch again. Amen. Yes. Do you know if the Roku has an app for SureFlix? Yes, it does. Okay. Yes, it does. Yes. That's another thing about the Roku too. If you really, really, if you just sit down and take time to go through those streaming channel apps, there's a lot there's of, a ton of apps. there's a ton of apps. There's one called the Roku channel that just has tons of. I mean. If you just like to watch movies every once in a while, I mean, if you go through the list, you're going to find something. You know, there's there's tons of stuff on the Roku that that that's free that that you can watch. Um, well, there's, there's stuff like westerns. Westerns, like yeah. Six, seven western oh channels. yeah. There's a channel called uh, on there that's free. It's called Crackle. That has a lot of uh, movies and old TV shows. Oh, just come. This just come with the. Yeah, Roku. it just comes built in. You know, it comes built in to the Roku. I mean, I gosh, I don't know. There's probably. Three, four hundred. Well, with Crackle is they tend to have a one commercial. Yeah. And they show that commercial about oh. twelve times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll get the same commercial over and over again. That's uh, that is true. There's probably a good three hundred channels built into Roku. Different things. Now, some of them you have to pay for, uh -huh. of course. But there's if you search through it, you can find. I mean, there's quite a. There's enough in there to keep you entertained. There's old 50s, 60s, 70s TV, 80s, yep. 90s. That's all in there. I tell you, like like for for me personally, the the there were two channels that I had to sacrifice on Spectrum when I moved over to this that I that I can't get, and they're silly channels. But Me TV, which is old, and then there was another one called Antenna TV. Those are probably the two. They're just old stuff that I grew up with. You know, I'd rather watch I'd rather watch reruns of Mash. Yeah, and yeah. Half the stuff don't get on those TV. on Antenna. Yeah, so you can get those. They yeah, in, they come in better now. Than yeah, and, and on YouTube TV, I've noticed there's always Mash on somewhere. It seems like so. So that's why I get sent. That's why I get sent to the basement <laughs> most, most of the time. It's because of that. So I love a movie that's older than you are. Huh? I love a movie that's older than you are. Older than I am. Okay, tell us. Nineteen fifty. Yeah, yeah, that's older than me. The day the earth stood still. The day the earth oh, stood yeah. still. Yep. Yeah. Back to a rock that just You got a movie. Oh, wizard. Got a movie wizard in my hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions mm -hmm. anybody has? So who is little boy? Thank you all for coming. I hope it. Sparked some interest, gave you some ideas, anything. And like I said, come see me. I'd love, I, I would love to save you money, and not on your car insurance with Geico, yeah. but with yeah. me. <laughs> I can't, I can't do anything about your prescription drugs or your car insurance. I'm sorry. I would huh? A carpet. A carpet. Yeah. I, I know a guy. <laughs> I know a guy. So, do you get another question real quick? Yeah. I've, um, well, I was just gonna say, laugh, but the way we're getting Netflix now is we use my son's. PS3. Yeah. Is the interface. Yeah, you can, and that's another thing too. I mean, um, for for gamers, you know, if your kids have gaming systems, they can get YouTube TV and Netflix and all that stuff on their gaming systems. You don't even have to buy anything. Yeah, we, do it on, we do it on the Wii. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can do it on the Wii. Yeah. It sounds like a Roku is a lot easier. Yeah, the Roku's yeah. Roku's Roku is really the simplest of them all, and the least expensive of them all. You get your bang for your buck with the Roku. You really do. Um, and I, Greg had his first, and he told me about it. I bought one sometime after that. 
Well, we had a, you know, it was a pay service for a number of years. It was only, it was less than five bucks. It was, it was British shows. Yeah. And it was constantly stuff on there we'd never seen before. And they had older shows too, like The Saint, The Avengers, and some of those from the 60s that you would remember. Yeah. yeah. It was good. I mean, it's a, it's just a, and for me, I'll, I'll shut up here. For me, the thing is, I just, I just got to the point where I was tired of paying $150, $175 for a bunch of stuff that I never used. You know, I never watched a cooking channel in my life. I know some of you love cooking channels. I mean, I never, I just, I, I there was just so much on there that, you know, and, and I know the thing about it with the cable companies is, wow, you can get 200 channels. And I know what everybody thinks, 200 channels. Wow, what a bargain. And then not really. My wife and I disagree about this. But like on Spectrum, you know, you go from 100 channel, or the, the 100 level channels, and then you go up to the 400 or 500, uh -huh. and, so on, and you see the same channels. Yeah. Joanne says, well, that's, they don't count that as, uh, just channels. because it's repeated in different levels, it's not the same. I, but they're selling the same thing, so yeah. they've got to be counting that as a channel. They're also counting the music. <laughs> The 60 music. Yeah, they yeah, got the 60 music channels. Yeah, yeah, the 60 music channels. Okay. Who, <laughs> honestly, does anybody ever listen to the music channels? On at, at Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah, at Christmas. That's probably the only channel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the only time. Yeah. And what you could do with your Roku is load up, uh, load up YouTube, and you could find your Christmas music there too. Mm -hmm. If anybody is a big you, what not YouTube TV, but watches just regular YouTube videos, you know, things on YouTube. There's an app on Roku where you can just, it's just like being on YouTube on your phone or your computer and, you know, because I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube, like for school and different things like that, you know, just keeping the tech stuff going and different things. And I'll, I'll sit for an hour just watching things on YouTube, not on YouTube TV, just regular YouTube. Yeah, regular movies on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, even on your computer. Yeah, yeah. You, you can find, you, 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 you can keep yourself entertained on YouTube in good ways and bad ways. Yeah. So with that Roku, you can use it as a... You can explore. I mean, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, the thing about it, the, the danger of YouTube is that you go on YouTube and you, um, you've you gone on and you say you wanted to uh, watch a video on how to change the carburetor on your car. Yeah. And there's lots of them. You're, yeah. you're watching that. Next thing you know, it leads you to another video. And the next thing, you know, an hour later, you're watching penguins give birth. <laughs> and wondering, how you, wondering how you got there. You know, it's just like, how did that happen? So you got, you got to be very, very careful. <laughs> you got to be very, very careful there. So, All right. Well, thank you, folks. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate you all coming. And, uh, seriously, make an appointment with me. I'd be more than happy. Uh, if you want to make an appointment today, just... Go upstairs to the front desk and they'll, they'll get you guys all hooked up with me.